Unit 1. Making a phone call. Hello. Good morning. Is Albert there? This is Al. Al, this is Bob. What are you doing? Bob? I'm sleeping. What time is it? It's 8 a.m. Time to rise and shine. 8 a.m.? Huh? Oh, no. I'll be late for work. No, 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 no. Today's Saturday. You do not have to work today. Oh. oh. Saturday. That's right. No work today. Oh, that's good. Hey, are you free today? Well, today is Saturday. Hmm. Yeah, I'm free. Would you like to do something together today? Hmm. That sounds good. Uh, what do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? Hmm. Well, I don't know either. Uh, why don't you come to my house and we'll think of something. Okay. I'll be there in about an hour. Okay. See you later. See ya, Al. Unit 2. Visiting a friend. Hello, who is it? It's me, Bob. <laughs> hey, Bob. Come on in. I've been waiting for you. Hi. How are you? I'm okay. <laughs> I'm still a little bit sleepy. I haven't had my coffee yet. Mmm, I understand. Do you want something to drink? Do you have any fresh squeezed orange juice? Mmm, no. I'm out of orange juice. Would you like some grape juice? Grape juice? Hmm. That would be great. Oh, <laughs> sorry, out of grape juice too. <laughs> That's too bad. Have you had breakfast yet? No, have you? No, I haven't. Are you hungry? Yes, I am. Let's go out and get something to eat. Okay, that sounds good. Um, my aunt has a breakfast shop near here. Great. Let's go there. Okay. Let's go. Unit 3. Greeting and Introduction. Hi, Al. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm doing good. Who's your friend? Oh, this is Bob. We went to school together. Bob, this is Juanita. Hi, nice to meet you, Juanita. Hi, nice to meet you, too. You have a beautiful smile. Thank you. You're not that handsome, but you look okay. Wow, thanks. Juanita, is my aunt here? No, she isn't. She should be in around 10. Here's some menus. Thank you. Can I get you anything to drink? Um, I'll have coffee, please. Okay, would you like sugar and milk? Mm, I like my coffee black. Okay, one black coffee. I'll have fresh squeezed orange juice, please. We don't have any orange juice. I'll be right back. Unit 4. Breakfast Recommendation. What do you like to eat for breakfast? I like a large breakfast. I like a large lunch. Mm, large lunch makes me sleepy. Anyway, what do you recommend for breakfast? Hmm. The pancakes are good. Pancakes. Delicious. What else? Um. Do you like eggs? Yes, I like eggs. Oh. Well, uh, you could have some scrambled eggs with toast. 
Ooh, or sunny side up eggs. Yummy. Or sunny side up, right? Or an omelet. Omelets. I love omelets. Cheese omelets, ham omelets, vegetable omelets. Mmm. Mixed fruit. Mixed fruit with yogurt makes a good breakfast. That's right. And fruit has many vitamins, too. What else? What else? Um, you could have a cup of coffee and a blueberry muffin. Hmm, muffin and a cup of coffee. Sounds good. So, do you know what you want to get? Yes, I do. And thank you for your recommendations. Oh, you're welcome. So, what will you get? A hamburger. A hamburger? Yes. And ice cream. Unit 5. Ordering food. Here is your coffee, Al. Thank you. And here's your water. Thank you. You guys ready to order? What do you like to have for breakfast? Um, I usually like to have an omelet. Hmm. That sounds good. I'll have a cheese omelet. Okay, one omelet. Do you have pancakes? Yes, how many would you like? Three, please. And bacon. Three pancakes and bacon. Would you like toast? Toast? Hmm. Toast sounds good. Yes, three pieces of toast. Would you like anything else? Do you have any fresh fruit? Yes, today we have fruit salad. Mm. Okay, fruit salad and that's all. Fruit salad. How about you, Bob? What would you like to eat? <clears throat> I would like hamburger and ice cream. Excuse me? I would like hamburger and ice cream, please. A hamburger and ice cream for breakfast? Are you crazy? No, I'm, I'm hungry. Okay, one hamburger. What kind of ice cream do you want? What kind of ice cream do you have? Let's see, we have chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. Vanilla, please. Vanilla, okay. Unit 6. Check, please. <sighs> That was a good breakfast. Yes, it was. Are you full? I'm very full. You ate a lot. I was so hungry, I could have eaten a horse. Good thing we didn't go to the racetrack. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Ah, that reminds me. What are we doing today? Let's go see a movie. Let's pay the bill first. Then we'll go see a movie. Okay. We'll see a movie. Juanita, check please. Okay, just a moment. Would you guys like to pay together or separate? Uh, oh my God. I forgot my money. Oh, that's okay. I have enough. Uh, together please. Okay. The total for your breakfast is 10.30. Mm, my aunt usually gives me a 50% discount. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. That'll be 5.15. Ah, uh, here's $7. You can keep the change. Really? Keep the change? Yes, it's a tip for you. Thank you, Al. Yeah, thanks, Al. I'll, uh, I'll pay you back when we get to an ATM. Oh, don't worry, it's just breakfast. I'll get lunch. Are you sure? I eat a lot. Ooh, I forgot about that. 
Unit 7. Meeting a friend. Bob, isn't that Michelle? Michelle who? Michelle Levent. We all went to school together. Here she comes. Hi. Hey, Michelle. Hi. Hi. Um, how can I help you? It's me, Al. We went to school together. Right. Al, right. And... Oh, my God. Bob Whedon! Bob, I haven't seen you in years. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Oh, I've missed you so much. Wow. Thank you. I thought I'd never see you again. It's some surprise. Oh, you bet. How, how's life? Are you married? No, I'm not married yet. So you're single then? Free and single. How about you? Are you working? Uh, yeah, I have a shop at the mall. Really? What mm -hmm. do you sell? Well, it's a mobile phone shop. So I sell mobile phones and accessories at the mall. Hey, Bob and I are going to go see a movie at the mall today. Interesting. Anyways. And, and, and Bob is going to buy a phone today. Really? Well, then you can come to my shop. What's your shop called? It's called Ring Me. I know that shop. Where is it? It's on the third floor at the mall. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, but I have to go now. I hope to see you later, Bobby. <laughs> Bye. I'll see you too. Bye. Bye. Unit 8. How is your car? Hey, Al. Where's your car? Oh, I took it to the repair shop. Oh, did you have an accident? No. I left it with the mechanic for a tune-up. When will it be ready? The mechanic said it will be ready on Monday. That's such a long time. Yeah, it is a long time. Are you planning on going on a trip? No, I just take it to the mechanics every 3,000 kilometers or so. Why do you do that? It's very old. It needs a lot of care. How old is your car? It's a 1975 model. Ha! That's not so old. My grandmother was born in 1912. Well, I guess compared to your grandmother, my car isn't that old. Hey, wait a minute. How are we going to get to the movie? Well, we can walk or go by train. Up to you. Are you crazy? Walk? The shopping mall is much too far. Well, in that case, we'll go by train. Huh. Unit 9. About the train. So, Bob, do you take the train often? Yes, Al. Almost every day. Almost every day? That's a lot. Well, I enjoy the train. It's very convenient. Hmm. I see. And it's the fastest way to travel across town. Are there many people on the train during the rush hour? Well, there are many people in the morning before work, and there are many people in the evening after work. What about other times? At other times, no, not so many people. And there's never a traffic jam? On the train, there's never any traffic jam. Oh, that's good. That's the fastest way to travel. Yeah, you know, I think it's faster than driving a car. And the train is not very expensive. Hey, Bob, look at that sign. The university? Uh-oh. We're waiting for the wrong train. We're on the wrong platform, teacher? Yes, we're on the wrong platform. So now, what do we do? Well, we can take a taxi. Taxis are good. Yes, taxis are good. Let's take a taxi. And we won't waste our time waiting for the wrong train. Unit 10. 
A pair of shoes. Hi. Oh, those shoes are lovely. Can I see them? Which ones do you like? That black pair looks really cool. Yeah. Um, the black ones here. The black ones. They are quite lovely. Imported from Italy. I've been to Italy. <laughs> How much are they? These shoes are eighty dollars. Eighty dollars? That's so expensive. Mm, not so expensive. Only forty dollars for one shoe. Do you have another pair of black shoes? Mm, this pair, only twenty dollars. Why are these shoes so much cheaper? Because they are made here. Hmm. Made here. What about the quality? The quality is very good. These shoes will last a long time. How about fifteen dollars for the pair? Oh, I'm sorry, not enough. Eighteen. I'll give you sixteen. Mm, okay, for you, special price, sixteen dollars. Would you like a bag? No, that's okay. Thanks anyway. I'll, I'll wear them. Unit eleven. Buying a phone. Hey, Michelle. Hi, Al. Hi, Bob. Hi. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. <laughs> hey, Al. Are those new shoes? Why, yes, they are. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> Al got a new pair of shoes, and I'm going to get a new mobile phone today. Oh, well, you've come to the right place. Have you ever had a mobile phone before? No, this will be my first phone. Don't worry, it's easy. May I ask, why do you want a phone? Oh, because Al won't let me borrow his anymore. That's a good reason. Why else? Well. Everybody else seems to have a mobile phone. Maybe I should have one too. That's another good reason. So, what features would you like? A loud ringtone like. Take it easy. Right, right. Thanks. Uh, and it should vibrate. I recommend this one. This one? Mm hmm. Great, thanks. I'll take it. Great. Hey, Al, do you like my new phone? Unit 12, directions to the toilet. Al, is something wrong? Uh, no, I'm okay. Do you have a toilet here? Oh, no, I'm so sorry. There is no toilet in this shop. <laughs> okay, uh... Uh, where is a toilet? Well, there is a public toilet close to here. Yeah? <laughs> where? Where is it? Oh, it's really hard to find if you don't know where it is. <laughs> Hurry, please! Okay, okay. Go out the door and take a left. Okay, okay. Out the door, left, and then? And then walk 15 meters until you see a pet fish shop. Okay, okay. Pet shop, and then? And then you'll see a staircase there. Go down the stairs. No, okay, okay, up the stairs, and then? No, 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 not up the stairs, down the stairs. Okay, okay, down the stairs, and then? And then you'll see a waterfall. And then? And then take a right. Okay, okay, right at the waterfall, and then? And the toilet is there. Oh, thank you, thank you. Um, so, out the door, is it right or left? Maybe I should draw you a map. <gasps> Never mind! I'll find the toilet myself. Hey, good luck! Call me if you get lost. Unit 13. Make an appointment for later. That was not easy. But I finally found the toilet. 
Are you ready to go, Bob? Yes, Al. I am ready. Do you want to invite Michelle? Yeah. Hey, Michelle. Would you like to go see a movie with us? Wow. That sounds like fun. When will you go? Well, we'll be going in about another 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Oh, that is too soon. I have to wait for the staff to arrive. When will your staff arrive? In about an hour. Please go on without me. Oh, no, 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 no. We can wait. No, go on without me. What about after the movie? W will you be free then, Michelle? Well, I'm supposed to meet a friend in about two hours, and then I'm just going to go home. Oh, so you're busy then? Well, why don't you stop here after the movie and tell me how it was? Yeah, that would be great. Okay, uh, we'll see you here after the movie in about two hours, okay? Sounds great. Great, okay. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bob. Unit 14. Choosing a movie. Wow. This sure is a big theater. Yeah. They have ten movie screens. Do you want to see every movie? <laughs> I don't think so. I think one movie is enough. What's this about? Iron Ladies 2. Oh, that's a foreign film. It's about a transsexual volleyball team. I've seen it. Mm. Well, how about The Trek? Have you seen The Trek? Not yet. It's an action movie. Yeah, I want to see that too. Oh, but it's not out yet. Oh, yeah, coming soon. Have you seen Our Two Hearts? Uh, what's that about? Oh, it's a love story about this man and this woman, and they're, uh, they're walking uh, in Enough, the enough. If it's a love story, I don't want to watch it. Why not? They're so sad and romantic. That's right. And the last time we watched a love story, you cried. I remember that. That was such a good story. Let's watch a comedy. Okay, I like to laugh. How about Fool School? Hmm. I read about that in the newspaper. It's supposed to be very funny. Okay, let's watch Fool School. But we better hurry. It starts in 10 minutes. Perfect. Just enough time to get tickets and to go to the snack bar. Unit 15. What a coincidence. Hey, Michelle. We're back. Hey there. Hi, Michelle. I forgot my phone. I know. I kept it for you. Did you like the movie? Oh, yeah, it was really funny. I laughed a lot. <laughs> what movie was it? It was called Fool School. Oh. That's a very nice theater upstairs. Yeah. And it's really comfortable. And Al ate a lot. Well, the food there is really good. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Hello? Oh, okay. Sure. See you soon. Bye-bye. That was my friend. She's coming soon. Where is she now? Upstairs. Upstairs? We were just upstairs. The theater is upstairs. You know, I can't wait to go back and visit that snack bar there. <laughs> He's my friend. Juanita? Hello, Al. Hey, Bob. You know each other? I've known Juanita for a long time. Mm, and I met Juanita just today. You're kidding. Juanita is my roommate. Yeah, we're roommates. What a coincidence. Yeah, that's quite a coincidence. Hey, 
We should all go out sometime. It could be fun. That sounds like a great idea. Why don't we have dinner or something? Sounds great. Okay. Ah, uh, sorry. Not tonight. I am too tired. What? How about later in the week? Perfect. Perfect. Unit 16. Making a date. Hello. Hi, Michelle. This is Al. Hi, Al. How are you? Fine, thank you. I'm calling to see if you and Juanita are free this Thursday. Why? What's happening this Thursday? Well... If you and Juanita are free, I would like to invite you to dinner. Oh! Dinner? This Thursday? Um, well, I'm not free, but Juanita is. Oh, that's too bad. I'm sure Bob will be sorry to hear that. Oh, Bob will be there too? Yes, of course. Okay, let me check my schedule one more time. Okay. Hey, guess what? I am free that evening. Super! And, and how about Juanita? Let me ask her. Yes, um, yes, she seems to be free too. Great. Can we meet at 7 p.m.? Yes. Where shall we meet? How about KFC? KFC? <laughs> I'm just joking. Actually, I'm making reservations at the Chateau de Me. Isn't that an expensive French restaurant? Yes, but I have a coupon. Eat four, pay two. Oh, that's great. So, can we meet there at 7 p.m.? 7 p.m. this Thursday. We will be there. Okay, bye bye. Unit 17. Going to the shop. Michelle, hmm? I'm going to the corner store. Do you want anything? Wait, where are you going? The corner store, you know, 7 Eleven. Do you want anything? Yeah. Um. I'd like um, a loaf of bread. A loaf of bread, okay. I'll be right back. Wait, wait. Um, yeah? What, there was something else. A loaf of bread and something else. Uh, thinking. Huh. I know. A roll of tissue. Right. I'm so glad you said that. We're out of tissue. Okay. I'll be right back. Wait. Wait, wait. Yeah. Um, can you check whether they have today's newspaper? Um, I think by now they're probably out of today's paper. Well, if they have it, great. If they don't, forget about it. Okay, I'll be back. Wait! I yeah. just remembered something. Can you get me some toothpaste? Some toothpaste? Yes, mint flavor. Okay, I'll be back. And a large box of laundry soap. Uh, do you have a pen? There you go. I better write this down. Okay. Well, bread. Right, bread and tissue. Mm hmm. And a newspaper. If they have them. Mm hmm. Um, soap, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, I know. A light bulb for my closet. A light bulb for your closet? Wait. I changed my mind. Changed your mind? Yeah, I'll go by myself tomorrow. Unit 18. Postponing. Juanita. Yes? I have bad news. 
Bad news. What is it? I cannot go to the dinner tomorrow. You can't go to dinner? Why not? I forgot I have a dentist appointment. Oh, that's no problem. Just cancel it. I can't. Sure you can. It's easy. Just call the dentist's office and cancel it. No, you don't understand. He's a popular dentist. It will take me another month just to make another appointment. Well, why are you going to the dentist? Are you in pain? No, I have to have a cavity filled. That's no problem. I can fill it for you right here. What? Oh, that's all right. I was just really excited about going to dinner with Al. I know. I feel terrible. And that's okay. Um, are you free on Friday? Mm, yeah, in the evening. Me too. Hey, maybe we can move the date to Friday. Good idea. I'll call Al and see if we can postpone until Friday. That sounds perfect. Unit 19. Passing a message. Hello? Hi, Al. It's Juanita. Oh, hey, Juanita. How are you this evening? Mm, not so good, sorry to say. Oh, really? What, what's wrong? Are you okay? Well, I'm fine, but I was calling to see if we can postpone our date. You want to postpone our date? Yeah, see, Michelle has a dental appointment and she can't cancel it. Oh, I see. Well, that does sound important. It's rather important. So, when do you want to postpone our date to? Um, is Friday okay? Friday? This Friday? Like, the day after tomorrow? Yeah, is that okay? Yeah, that, that's great. Uh, I'm so happy. I, I thought you were going to postpone it longer. No way. I've really been looking forward to going out to dinner with you and Bob. And Michelle? I know she's been looking forward to it, too. Oh, that's great. Can you please tell if you see him? Yeah, sure. I'll tell Bob that we've postponed dinner until Friday. Okay, that's all. Thanks. Well, thank you, too. Bye. Bye. Bob, we've postponed dinner until Friday. Friday? Okay, no problem. Unit 20, making a reservation. I'm glad they called. Because you like Michelle? Well, yes, but I forgot to make a reservation. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> yeah, I'll call and make a reservation now. Good evening, Chateau de Me. Hello, I'd like to make a reservation, please. Yes, sir, for what day? Friday. Friday, yes sir. How many people in your party? Uh, four people. Two men and <coughs> two women. Very good for you, sir. What time would you like the reservation for? We will arrive at 7 p.m. I'm afraid I do not have anything available for 7 p.m., sir. Oh, no. I do have a table available for 7.30 p.m. Oh, 7.30? That would be great. Would you prefer smoking or non-smoking? Non-smoking. Thank you. Your name, please, sir. Falfa. Albert Falfa. Very good, Mr. Falfa. You have a reservation for 4, 7.30 p.m., this Friday, non-smoking. Great. Thank you so much. My pleasure, sir. Unit 21. At the restaurant. 
This is a nice restaurant. Yes, thank you for inviting us. I hear the food is delicious. This is the nicest restaurant I have ever been to in my life. Bob, do you have your gift ready? Yes, Al, I do. Michelle, Juanita, Bob and I have gifts for you. Oh, you shouldn't have. Well, we decided flowers are too boring and chocolate will make you fat. So, we put our heads together to come up with some really exciting gifts. You guys are so kind. Yes, you two are so very thoughtful. Bob, would you like to go first? Yes, Al. Don't mind if I do. Juanita, this is for you. A goldfish? No, not a goldfish. It's an Oscar fish. Well, thank you, I think. And when it gets bigger, it eats the goldfish. That's disgusting. Wow, that's cool. And now for you, Michelle. Voila. What is this? Some sort of dartboard? Oh, Al, you're so handsome in your picture. So, what do you think? Do you like your gifts? Well, I really like the fish, Juanita. I really like your picture, Michelle. Unit 22, making a toast. The dinner was delicious. And the company was excellent. Well, I'm glad you like your picture, Juanita. Yes, Al, I really do. Thank you. I like my fish. I can't wait to feed it. So do you have a name for it yet? No, not yet. But I'll think of one soon. Isn't life funny? Yes. Especially the way you like Michelle, but I like you. And Michelle likes me, but I like you. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me dizzy just thinking about it. Wait, I'm confused. I don't know whether I like Al or Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I think I like Al. <laughs> this was such a nice dinner. We'll have to do it again. Next time, Michelle and I will get gifts for you. And don't forget that it's okay to trade with each other. <laughs> <laughs> I've had such a nice time this evening. I have to thank you all for a wonderful time. Let's make a toast. To everybody liking everybody else. <laughs> and to beautiful friendship. May it last forever. Forever and a day. Cheers. Number four, change. Change. Don't forget the ending, ch. Change. Change here means um, you want to make something different. Change. Change. Uh, and change is the verb or maybe the noun, okay? Change is also a noun or verb. And if you want to make the plural form, or maybe you want to add, add S at the end, you say changes, 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 change, uh, one syllable, so we don't have the stress, so just say change. And here, changes, changes, that means two syllabuses, so we add stress here, 